I learned to drive through the public school. Pretty cool after school. You go into your class, you have your instructor, and then we would drive in the back of the school on a driving range. So now I'm making a left turn. I'm getting into the middle just before the broken line. And this is a protected left turn. That car up ahead of me did the right thing. They went up into the middle of the intersection and then we're just gonna wait. You never wanna turn your wheels because if I get hit and hit them, that car will be hit right into traffic. So keep your wheels straight. Night driving is very peaceful also too. Turning real easy, then I accelerate out. If you can control your right foot, you're gonna get great mileage. If you can't, you're in a hurry, impatient, you're gonna end up crashing or having really bad fuel economy. So now I'm lifting my foot some and they're tailgating that vehicle up there. That vehicle is running a little bit rich. Um, if you understand vehicles you can tell so maybe they've tuned this vehicle some but you can smell that unburnt fuel so because i'm also a engine builder and a racer also too so now we're smooth and even everything's looking good a lot of people ask me well how do you do driver's head? Don't you get nervous? I'm really chilled in the car. I tell a lot of uh, dad jokes. I talk to students about college, high school, social media, <clears throat> um, encouraging them to just be your, live your best life, right? And I'm, I am looking left and right for deer, little bitty eyes popping out. And the after class tonight, I do have to drive uh, two students and they're gonna be on their last drive. So it's gonna be a little intense. Um, but we've talked about this. A lot of the students have driven, a third of their drives have been at dark or at night. So they're, they're gonna be pretty good. And this is the route that I take students on. It's got three roundabouts, two lane roads, it's pretty peaceful, it's medium traffic. So I like it because we can get an hour of driving done. And then if we want to get onto a expressway, we can. If we want to get onto a major thoroughfare, we can. So you can't see my foot, but it's just holding the gas pedal really smooth, really consistent. watching those cars come out. I try to look ahead as far as possible. If I get too close to this car, I'll get those fumes because the car is out of tune a little bit. It's really easy to get distracted. If you look at the headlights oncoming, you should look to the right line. That's the edge line or fog line that helps you keep your car in the lane. If you get too warm in the vehicle, I always usually have the AC on, yes, that's right, so we don't fall asleep. I try to keep the car temperature nice and cool because if it's too warm, we will definitely fall asleep. I normally drive anywhere from eight to 10 hours, primarily on the weekends, a couple of nights during the week. I have uh, an online class, which is fun. B-Control is really nice. I'm looking ahead, I do see that green light 
it just went from red to green. I'm scanning left and right. This is a nice smooth drive, which I like. At 100 feet or half a block, this is when um, I would uh, turn on my blinker. So, check traffic and then make that nice turn, and then I accelerate. A lot of beginners hit the gas too late, and then that uh, upsets the chassis of the car. They hit it too early. Uh, we go out of the lane, they don't hit it at all. They turn too wide or turn too short. So there are multiple things that um, our young drivers do wrong. But I try to uh, show them uh, and support them and I listen. Good instructors listen to their students. If this is getting value, give it a thumbs up, give a like. Speed control is really nice. We're still in a huge wooded area. You know, animals can pop up anytime. It's really foggy out here. Go ahead and make another left turn. I'm gonna merge into the middle. There's my turning arrow, so I'm gonna go in really slow. Ooh, that's a quick light. I'm gonna go ahead and go in really slow, and I wanna hit it right by this double yellow. This is what a lot of students struggle in, making that left turn, so I'm really looking ahead, and then I accelerate up. And I'm just looking ahead, scanning. This uh, Jeep to my right is really starting to pick up and accelerate. make a lane change to the right so I turn my blinker check my mirror at the line spot and I get over a lot of beginners stare at the curb or stare at the line and then they start drifting I'm scanning the intersection Ooh, that was a quick left See the semi truck up there, so you need to know they move slow. They've got a blinker on. So I'm just gonna take my time. That's that Jeep that was speeding. Let me go ahead and get over one lane to the left. back over one lane to the right. I'm trying to stay in the open spots. I'm trying to use the elements that I have, the speed, the space, not tailgating people. It's gonna be really bumpy here. A lot of my students love Texas Roadhouse and those biscuits. <laughs> I'm gonna be making a right turn up here so my blinker's on. And you've gotta tell your student, your teen, your adult, you need to get over to the right, but I can't turn on red. If we turn on red, you would fail your road test. You can see a shadow of that person walking over there. It's really hard to see them.
I made really good time. And that proves that you don't have to be super aggressive. You don't have to cut people off, run lights. You just have to be smooth and consistent. So I look, then I wanna go into the nearest lane and then I accelerate out. Check my blind spot, then I'm back. Trying to keep good space, not tailgating any vehicles. I like three to five blinks to let drivers know that I'm making a lane change. <laughs> 